Well, he's an Ohio native who has won Olympic gold, and figure skating champ Scott Hamilton still makes it a priority to give back to Northeast Ohio, all of Ohio, really. Hamilton may be best known for his highly successful Stars on Ice show, but he's also found a courageous and public battle with cancer, which was treated at the Cleveland Clinic, we should add. And that brings us to why Scott Hamilton is in our studio today. Thank you so much for being with us, Scott. Ah, it's good great to, to see you, my you. friend. Yeah, it's good great to, to be good back. Good to have you back here in Ohio. You've got your thing coming up, an evening with Scott Hamilton. Tell us all about that. Uh, well, when I survived cancer at the Cleveland Clinic, I decided that um, I understood that there was a lot of things about the cancer community that were really kind of gaping holes in the mm -hmm. cancer community. And so I thought in my survivorship, there were three components that I really wanted to, to really look after, and one was research, and we're doing that now. We have 37 research programs going on right now at the, at the Tosti Cancer Center. Another one was um, education. When I went online, when they give you the diagnosis, you know, they go, yeah. here's what, go online. I went online, it's like, holy cow, that's a 12-syllable word. <laughs> I don't know how to do it that. It's either I'm really sick or I'm really not smart, so I decided I wasn't smart. Yeah. I realized there was a lot of... Um, there's a, a lack of user-friendly information, so we created chemocare.com, which is everything you need to know about chemotherapy, but in eighth grade English and eighth grade Spanish. So it's, it's user-friendly yeah. information, but it's all 350 chemotherapy drugs, how they work, how, you know, what, they, what they're designed to do. In English, we can all understand, and Spanish. And then the other part of it was I felt a little bit isolated because I couldn't really talk to anybody that mm -hmm. understood what I was going through, and so we created the fourth angel mentoring program, which is... You know, I, I had my three angels. I had my oncologist, my oncology nurse, and yeah. my friends and family, but there was no fourth angel, and that's someone that's been there, done that, that could actually help me and mentor me and, and role model for me while I'm going through my cancer experience. And, and, you so, go all, and you go all over talking about this kind of thing. I go all over talking about this thing, and now we have 600 angel mentors that are being matched with pa cancer patients and helping them through their cancer adventure and journey. And so we've created all these programs, and we want to expand our research, and so we keep yeah. having this event. Um, this is our 14th year, and, and um, the money that we raise at this event is our life's blood for all the research that we're doing and, and really trying to make the cancer community um, better and you, stronger and easier. And you always invite uh, big musical guests to come. This year you've got Cindy Lauper. Cindy Lauper. You know, when you. We, every year we kind of go, who, you know, who's out there? Who? Mm -hmm. and, and when I saw Cindy Lauper win the Tony Award for Best Musical and I saw that she was going to launch this 30th anniversary tour for her breakout album, mm -hmm, I was mm -hmm. like, she's A-list. Let's get her. And so she said yes. And and we've been putting the show together around her soundtrack, and we've got great skaters. We've got Dorothy Hamill coming back. Ty and Randy are coming in yeah, for the first I saw, time. I saw, I saw the list of people. You guys just keep on skating. You just, you just keep on going. Well, we got some legends like that, <laughs> and then we got some of the newbies you yeah. know, coming in, which is really cool because I want more and more people to experience this evening and, and this event and this, my organization, and what we're trying to do. So, you know, they know that, you know, they have an, a, a chance, an ability, and an opportunity, and a platform to be able to raise money yeah. for cancer research and to try to create the next miracle to keep a so, family so together. So we really look forward to it. It's going to be the 14th annual evening with Scott Hamilton and friends. The ice show and gala, it starts. It's Saturday, November the 2nd, 5 o'clock, going to be at Quicken Loans Arena, the Q. And he says the gala dinner and the black tie event follows at 730 at the Renaissance Cleveland Hotel. Tickets for both events are on sale right now. And you can log on to newsnet5.com for more details on that. And we really appreciate you coming back here. Uh, a, a native of Bowling Green, grew uh, up in the a Bowling legend Green, of Ohio. Cleveland. <laughs> Both of us got ties to Bowling Green. Uh, Bowling Green. Okay. Good Woo! to see you, my friend. Isaac Azumba. Isaac Azumba, <laughs> Zumba, Zumba, BGSU. It's an inside joke. Yeah. Take a break. I'll be right back. Thank you, Scott, for coming by. I really appreciate it.